Last time on The End of Time and Other Bothers. Hello, Celine. I thought you had left me. We did leave you. And all the things that we saw. Hello, hello, giant eyeball. My name is Dark. Oh, that's not good. I know where you can get lots of food. Celine's castle. Mr. Grim Reaper. You're calling for death? We're kind of old friends. What? I owe him a favor. Well, Darcy, you've delivered. You said I had to save her. And you know why you had to save her? Because I love Darcy. You see what looks to be some kind of vehicle with wings, and it begins to fire. Exit, you've got wings. I was a bird. I flew. I can't believe I'm still alive. We're waiting for you to kill us. Oh, you won't get off that easy. I'm making you all the full citizens. What is involved in processing? We're all gonna be Shadowborn! I think we're not gonna have a face! It's been decided. Celine is gonna beam you back to the tree. That's great! Good news! Great! But I'm gonna be sticking around here for a while. What? (gasps) No! We open on a winter scene. A glade amidst the snow-covered trees. Freshly fallen snow over a large face stone in the center. When suddenly a light blossoms out, sending all the trees bending backwards as everything whirls around, fairies flying through the air, and then with a pop, it's gone, leaving a small fairy in the air, another fairy on the ground named Egerton, Darcy, and Magnus. They are back in paradise. Is Black gone? I... Oh, yes, he's he's gone. Uh, so he sent his best wishes. <laughs> Black, bl- bl- where? No, but he's he, it's it's a trick, right? Yeah, it's it's got to be a trick. I mean, he's going to appear here any minute, right? That's what Blatt does. He fakes people out, and then he makes us all really mad at him, and then he just comes back, and it's all like it used to be, and they just keeps making us mad at him, right? I mean, that's that's what's going on here. I'll check. Wait. <laughs> You don't really get used to that disappearing, poofy thing. No, not at all. Yeah. It's okay, Magnus. Uh, we're all a little in shock right now, but I'm sure, I'm sure, it, I'm, I'm sure it'll all work out. We're good. We're good. It, Blatt's gonna be back in no time. Maybe you should just sit down for a minute. Yeah, get your bearings again. <laughs> <laughs> nope, Blatt's not coming. He's really not coming. Oh, Jack! <laughs> oh boy. I feel like we need to phrase our questions a little more delicately next time uh, because the, the fairies, from what I have heard, sometimes don't listen too well and then just start talking or going and running off and it gets very frustrating for people trying to communicate with them. I can't imagine what that's really like. But... No, I imagine you can't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Magnus. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> Celine said no more questions. Fine. We don't have any more. We're home, and I guess that's what matters. Well, we, we're 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 home, but you know, without Blad, it doesn't really feel like home. And I guess this isn't really home for Magnus either, because it's you know, it's kind of out of time. That's true. We we should probably get him back to where he's come from. No, your your expression says it all, Magnus. I, I don't know how we could have done this without you. Thank you, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Magnus. You were. Pretty impressive in the end, actually. Thank you. I hope you'll remember us. No, no one's gonna tip me, right? Well, we we you, we, we need you to take Magnus, so okay, maybe so... he'll tip. Yeah, he says he's gonna tip you. What? That's very generous of him. What are you talking? Okay, I just want to say goodbye, Magnus. I want to get out of here. <laughs> Bye, Magnus. <sighs> he was a cute little guy. Yeah. Well, I hope he has a relatively. Dull and uneventful life after this. That's the best kind. I guess we have to go tell Moira. Yeah, it's going to be hard for you. Yes. Hard for both of us. Yes. I hope you can find the words. Egerton, you're coming well, with I, me. Well, I'll come. I'm going to come. Of course I'm going to come. I wouldn't let you go do it yourself. I just, you know, you're the you're the wordsmith of, of the group. Actually, that might have been Blatt. <sighs> Thank you.
The End of Time and Other Bothers, an improvised fantasy role-playing game set in the world of Alba Salix. Your game master is Sean Howard, with players Michael Howie, Carter Siddle, and Marisa King. Episode 15, Solstice. find Egerton and Darcy walking slowly through the streets of Paradox, the roar of the waterfall and the light mist coating everything, but the sound seemed dampened and a little removed as the two approached the gates of the Academy of the Fallen. This place just doesn't seem the same anymore. I. I, I didn't hear you over the sound of the waterfall. It's very loud. I said this. Pl- oh, never mind. Let's just go in. As the two of you approach the pathway, which you've traveled a ton of times, and you're coming up towards the main entrance of the Academy of the Fallen, suddenly something seems different. And it takes a moment to process that there are two giant almost, very just large, what appear to be knights in full plate armor, slightly rusted, standing unmoving outside the front door, on each side of the doors. I don't remember those. Do you? Uh, n- n- no, I I think there used to be trees there, actually. That's weird. Well, there was that one that Blatt took out with his bazooka. Oh. But you're right. There definitely weren't knights, I don't think. We're going to have to ask Moira what's going on here. Okay, let's just squeeze past these. Uh, And immediately as you approach, they turn in unison and drop weapons down in front menacingly. Oh. Definitely different. Definitely different. Hello, we are heroes here to see our handler, Moira. Uh... We, we don't have a password, but... You are not authorized. Uh, actually, I think you'll find that we are, if you, you know, if you just look on the list, uh, under E for Egerton Party. And D for Darcy. Well, no, Dar- Darcy's probably a, like, sub-list under mine, but if you look at the top of the list, you'll see Egerton. I think D comes before E, probably Darcy Party. They both freeze. Like, lifting weapons. One is lifting a giant war axe, and the other is lifting a giant sword, and then they freeze, and then slowly return to standing as they were. Thank you. That was... Darcy was on the list. Oh, well. Boom. All right. Well, let's just proceed then. Come through with me, guest. They probably had the lists upside down, so, you know, the the VIP at the bottom. I'm sure that's yeah, it. That's, that's what it was. Okay, let's go. Let's go in. Let's find Moria. As you step in to the what used to be an empty long hall with the doors like leading to the quartermaster and Moria's office, uh, you stop again because there are four more giant knights in full plate mail standing um, sort of halfway down the corridor and then at the far end where the stairs are. This must be a new security system or something. They're everywhere. I don't remember seeing anything about security systems that involved plate metal. There was the fun one that had the trebuchet. Um, I'm pretty sure we had that at the office. Right, but there are no trebuchets here, Egerton. This is what we're facing. I don't remember any of this. What's going on here? I don't know. You're the one who's on the list. Okay, I guess fine. I'm on the list. We're going to find Moira. Let's just, just let's just go to her office. We're going to figure this out. And uh, Egerton and I... March over to Moira's office and knock on the door. Okay, there's a pause, and then you hear a, who is it? It's Darcy and Egerton. Egerton and Darcy, reporting in. Are you alone? Well, I have Darcy with me. And I have Egerton. Well, technically, I have Darcy with me. Let's just go in, and I open the door. It's locked. Why is the door locked? Moira, Moira, it's Darcy and Egerton. Can we come in? Again, that's Egerton and Darcy reporting. 
yes, of course, of course. And you hear a bolt turn, and the door opens. Please, I'm so sorry. Come in. I was just finishing some paperwork. And uh, I enter ahead of Egerton, and I look around furtively to see if anything is weird in this office. The office looks similar to the last time you were in there trying to file forms against, I think, Blatt. And uh, there's a lot of papers and things that have sort of been shoved under some envelopes on her desk. And she closes the door behind you, doesn't lock it, and comes around to her desk and sits down and says, So, um, you two are alone? Yes, we're alone. In fact, we have something really terrible to tell you. Blatt didn't come back with us. Oh, oh, I see. Um, And Ananka. Right, but see, Blatt didn't come back with us. The, the, the demon with the bazooka, he's, we lost him. He's not here. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll, I'll get the full report. But um, my sister Ananka, did she come back with you? No, I, I haven't seen Ananka forever. I, I don't even remember the last time she, we saw her. She, she was in the, the nice house. Ah, the weird chicken house, it right? It wasn't weird. It was nice. It was if odd. If you petted it, it would kind you, of croon a, a little bit. A house on legs, Egerton, that walk? That's disturbing. Well, I don't know that it's disturbing. I think it's probably a little unique. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, so, um, yes, uh, and Craig, have you seen uh, you, the Minotaur? Yeah, he, he he was there, too. He he came in with... Uh, he was where? With Ananka. She looks really tense. Uh, with, um, Anon- they they were in the house together, and they were they were going to talk. And they what? Was ve- Which house, Hagerton? It, Slow down. It, it was the the, the one chicken with the house. Lake. Yeah. The and they the ran lakes. away, right? The house ran away with them in it, I think. Yeah, and then then Blatt, though. I I don't know if you heard, but Blatt, uh, he's in the service of Celine now. Um, I think Darcy has more to tell you about that. Yes, great. We'll get to that. So, um, uh, did you have any conversations with... uh, So, what brings you back to... Listen, Moira. I don't want to offend you, but our friend, Blatt, who we've been through blood, sweat, and tears with, might be dead for all we know. He's under the sway of this moon goddess. We need you to do something. He's not here with us. Remember, we are supposed to save the universe and time and everything. You used to care about that. I do. I do. I'm sorry, Darcy. Um, Please, can I get you all some tea? I, I would love a peppermint. Oh, n- uh, n- Blatt, though. Yes. I don't think we need any refreshments, do we, Egerton? No, but, you know, if you're making tea, maybe a peppermint tea would be nice. Yes, I'll get you a peppermint okay. tea. And yourself, Darcy? Nothing? Nothing for me. Very well. Um, so why don't you, um, well, there's only one chair. Uh, why don't you? Uh... I'll sit in the chair. Fine, Egerton. You'll need somewhere to sit when you sip your peppermint tea. Yes, it can be kind of hot. And I like to balance it on the saucer. Because if you put it down, sometimes you get these little rings. And I think the rings are pretty on the wood, but some people don't really Great. get the rings. So, um, uh, uh, so I think what might be best is if you write up a full report so that we can understand what happened to Blatt. And um, we can mobilize and figure out what our next step is. Uh, I would also like to uh, uh, just make sure you cover everything. And the last time you saw Ananka and Greg, for they, um, I don't know how to say this, but... They may have moved against the Nexus, which what? is what why now? there's... You may have noticed the new uh, knights as you entered. Yeah, that was weird. Yes. Uh, by the way, I think they have their lists upside down. I'm pretty sure Eggerton, that... this well, is not... No, forget, forget the, the, VIP forget and the and list. I, okay, but, so... Um, Blatt though, we should, we should probably try and get Blatt back because Blatt has the bazooka and I, I, you know, yes. while I, I take on the leadership role, um, Blatt's really the one who can help us get out of some sticky spots. I mean, Darcy's around, Egerton, but, but, Egerton, yeah. your tea's getting cold. You should drink some of that oh. now. Yeah. Take a sip. Moira, what are you talking about? Greg and Ananka are acting against us. Ananka was helping us. Uh, yes. Well, Ananka is my sister. I am, I'm quite... I'm torn up by this, uh, and I'm still trying to process. So any information you have would really help me understand what's going on. So I would like you both to write a full report, um, and please, I guess, I'm sorry that you may have lost Blatt, and hopefully he is fine, but there are risks in this job, as we all know. I may have lost a sister. So why don't we just get a full report? Here's the problem. Blatt did the reports. Blatt was really good at doing the reports. He would get all the details just right, and he actually even alphabetized the different people we met by the names we learned. I know. It was all really pretty. So then he collated all. We don't do the reports. Egerton and I aren't good at the reports. I, We're the action people. Yeah. I I can't. Excuse me. Could I have some peppermint tea? Please? Yes, let me, let me make another one. Thank I, you. 
I have to say I I did well Blatt's reports. Um, and, he always had a way of alphabetizing it. Well, they also came in triplicate, which no one's ever done. Here's your tea. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So, yes. Yeah, so please, I'm going to give you some. I'll give you some forms. If you can just do your best to fill out the report, it does not have to be as done as well as Blatt did it. We can figure out what's going on, and we can figure out what we're going to do next. Um, I'm afraid I have other work right now, so you both know the way to your quarters. Oh, and um, tonight is Winter Festival, and a Snaggle is going to try and put on a festive occasion in the dining hall. So um, be sure you're there. I don't think I'm going to be up for any Winter Festival. Do I'm you taking have my peppermint, peppermint canes? Um, I, I do not, but uh, a Snaggle tells me he's preparing quite the feast. Will, will there be um, pleather cakes and roasts? I, I'm not sure, Egerton. It's really important that we focus on getting your report. Into yeah, yeah. Me. So um, for the report. And you write it. Yes, I'm going to write the report. Well, you're not in my office. Uh, I won't be in your office when I write it. And there's going to be like frozen peppermint tea sticks, though, right? Those those were always my favorite. And they're not always easy to come across. But if there's going to be winter stuff. Very good. Uh, so here, snow. just... Don't Here you go, out into the hall. Thank you, Egerton. Oh. Darcy, if you need anything, let me know. I'm going to my room. We cut to the patter of tiny feet as we see Egerton. Well, we see half of Egerton as he is carrying an unbelievable assortment of pies and fairy cakes stacked up above his head. And he's heading down the bottom stairs. It teeters. Uh. And somehow doesn't fall <laughs> over as Egerton turns and heads towards the dining hall, but pauses because there are two giant fully encased in plate armor knights, one on each side of the dining hall, each brandishing a giant mace. But you hear the sound of music coming from the dining hall. No, put it over there. Yes, that goes over there. Thank you. I, I, I have pies. I, I, I have winter festival pies. I, I spent the last few hours making them. I, I can excuse, excuse, excuse me, uh, gar, guards. I've got pie. Do you want a pie? Do you like cherry? What about uh, uh, boysenberry? The two guards both turn slowly in unison on each side of you. And oh. the both heads start to angle down. Oh, okay. What, what about, uh, I've got this one. This is this. This is a pleather specialty. It's got a bit of spice in it. I, I made it for, well, I, I made it for Blatt, but um, if he's not here, maybe you, you two would like to try it. Uh, I don't think the mace, do, do you have a dagger? You could slice a piece out. The mace might just squish it, uh, but I you need to get- You are authorized yeah. for entry. Yeah, th I know I'm authorized for entry. I, I this, is, this is home. So, you know, I've got these pies. It's just, you're, you're kind of in the way and I want to go through and put the pies down on the table. And then I thought, maybe you guys want pie. I mean, you work hard. You've been here all day, I bet. I don't know how long your shifts are. How I once had to work a 12-hour shift, and that was really tiring. I just couldn't imagine having to stand we there like that all the time. do not rest. Uh, you don't, well, that's kind of sad. Do you get, do you get to like just hang out and you know play ping pong sometimes? Or do you, do you have to... You are cleared I, for entry. Yeah, I, I know I'm cleared for entry. So what I'm wondering, though, is what you do in your downtime. And if you don't rest, it means you don't sleep. Do you eat at all? Because I've got pies. I've got some cakes here in my pouch, too. Um, and then there's probably a whole bunch of good stuff inside. A lot of peppermint-flavored things, because peppermint's all 20 minutes winter. later, Darcy stumbles down. Oh, hi, Darcy. I was just talking Agerson, to my new friends. It's so good to see you. Oh, oh, it, oh my friend. Oh, my. You're being it's very so touchy. It's so good to see you. Oh, are those pies? They, do they you are have boysenberry? I do have boysenberry. I'll take five. Uh, oh, Thank please you very enter. Much. Hello, guards. Please hey, it's the enter. winter festival. Woohoo! Okay, it's guys, so I'm going to ask. Please, please enter. Okay, I, I think the guards are getting a little tired of your uh, frivolity here, Darcy. So let's go inside. Agerton, let's go. Let's go. It's the okay. Winter Festival. Nobody cares. The blood's gone. Well, Why should I? This is going to be so much fun. Woohoo! Let's go. Snaggle. Hi, well, Snaggle. Oh, Darcy! Snaggle, like, flies through the air and side tackles Darcy, who goes stumbling oh, backwards. It's so good to Darcy. see you, Snaggle. Oh, God, Darcy, you're back. Oh, I heard you might be back. Oh, <gasps> Egerton! Hi, Snaggle. Wait, where's Blatt? Oh, um, here, let me put down all of my pies. Oh, no, 
it's right. fine, Egerton. I'll tell him. I mean, nobody cares. Why should you care? Vlad's just gone, Snagel. He's never coming back. He's become the moon goddess's concubine or something like that, and you're never going to see him again. I know you really loved him, but what does it matter? Our hearts are only there to be broken. Oh, good. Are these fairy cones? What? Not coming. I made his favorite. Well, he, he, he may not be coming today, but, you know, I think Moira, she, she seemed to think that maybe we can go get him. So he had to stay behind with Celine, um, who's this movie. I don't think you'd like her I'm going to get much. him? Well, not right now, but I think we're going to try. Maybe we'll do a, a, a rescue mission. Uh, we yes! Can I go to rescue mission? Okay, so... We rescue Blatt! Yes, we will rescue Blatt. Not right now. Right. Not right now. You won't be coming to the festival. No, but you know, I have a special job for you, Stego. Is Come this here. Plether Nog spiked? We need to spike the Plether Nog. Snagel, okay. Snagel, where's, where's the brandy? I'll get the brandy. Get the brandy. Okay, get, I, get the whiskey. So get say, everything. Snagel, um, I'm going to need you to help me take care of Darcy. She seems a little upset. I mean, have you noticed how much she's talking? It's so irritating. Maybe, you know, you could help keep an eye on her. I think she's, okay. she's extra sad about Blatt, and she's not eating any of the fairy cakes I left for her. Oh, um, I'll give her food now. I go. She likes toast. Okay, you go You go get her some toast. Okay. Um, and we'll, we'll take you care of her. I go to get Blatt without me. No, no, we'll take you for sure. Okay. I, I mean, I, I can't imagine going to get Blatt without you. Okay, um, I made you a special demon <gasps> cake. Oh, is that what you made for Blatt and you're, you're re-gifting for me? No, this one was for you. Oh, that's nice of you, You Snagel. can't have Blatt's demon cake. I, okay, we'll, we'll save that for later. And why, why don't you have a very special red polka dot fairy cake? <gasps> Just for you for Winterfest. You got me something? Of course, it's Winterfest. Even though it's a little sad because Blatt's not here, yeah. we still need to honor the tradition set forth by the talking trees. You've... No one's ever given Snagel a gift before. Well, everybody should get a gift. Thank you. Snagel. Huh. Snagel. Oh, you yeah, brandy. the brandy. Brandy. Uh, Snagel, get brandy. Now. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. I can okay. Don't eat the demon cake too quickly. Okay. <laughs> How much vanilla is in these fairy cakes, Egerton? Did you put in a lot of vanilla? There, there's, there's, there's lots of vanilla. A lot in, of almond in, extract. Is yeah, that in there? Yeah. Well, this this one is actually a, a pleather bean extract. But yeah, I, I'll I, take it. Just okay, give it. okay. Here, Just here. Give it to me. Darcy, can you help me get the brandy bottle out of filthy ticket? Uh, yeah. What's here? Filthy? Look, it's floating in the quartermaster. Help um, me, right there. I oh. Whoa. It's right there. Okay, I'm, tr I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying. Wait. Well, hold still. Just, hold still. Fill the thicker thicket. Yeah, fill the thicket. Hold still. Yeah, I can, can you? Oh gosh, Egerton, can you get the? Okay. Everything's kind of spinning right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's right there. See the bottle? Yeah, I, I see the. Okay, I'm gonna. I, excuse me. Yeah, over. Yeah, over here. Could you bring the the brandy over for Darcy here? She's looking for the brandy. And fill the ticket. The the giant air jelly quartermaster floats over towards Egerton. And lowers down in front of you, and you see the brandy bottle floating there. Wait, so is it okay if I just kind of reach in and grab? I, I... as you reach, it reaches towards you. Okay, that's nice. It's it's a Winterfest miracle. Ha ha ha! And I'm I'm gonna just grab it now. You put your hand into the goo. It's 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 tickly. Uh, okay, okay, there we go. Thank you. And as you grab the bottle, you feel the tendrils wrap around your head and the world disappears. And you are in the hall suddenly. The world sort of appears, but everything's gray and almost double vision. Like the lines don't quite match up. And you see Moira running down the stairs and down the hall towards her office. And you slowly following her as she opens the door and she's shouting, but you can't make out what she's saying. And suddenly the front doors open and you see these knights marching in two by two, giant plate mail and starting to fan out through the whole complex. And then suddenly you're back and the party <gasps> and the singing. That was unusual. I've never drank that much brandy just and by touching it. And you're holding a brandy bottle. Okay, well, here. Oh, good. You got the brandy. Yeah, Thanks, Egerton. Dar Darcy, 
I saw something weird from uh, Phil Kipitan. Yeah. Uh, oh, Darcy, I made you this special toast. Um, and I tried to make it like snappies. Um, I put sugar on it. Uh, yeah, thanks, Snagel. That's great, because I'm going to make a few toasts. <laughs> here's, here's you to Blatt. You can use my toaster. Oh, to Blatt. Yes. Yeah, oh, let's, Blatt. All, let's all drink oh, a okay. toast to Blatt, who's never coming back ever, what? and who's just going to be some moon goddess lover boy for the rest of time. Okay, Blatt, I, I hope you're having a good time wherever you are. <laughs> I'm just gonna be over here now. Darcy's plant's not coming. No, no, Blatt, Blatt will come back. Don't you know? It's sad and it's scary, but it, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be okay. Because it's Winterfest, Snagel, and that's when wondrous things happen at Winterfest. Look, look, it is so happy in You're here. You're just trying that... to make me feel better, aren't you? Well, no, yeah, maybe a little. But look, Darcy's feeling better. See, she, she's throwing up in the corner. That means she's feeling better. See? Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to go wrap up my present for Blatt and put okay. it in the freezer. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, does it Now, does it need to be in the freezer, or are you just putting I'm, it in the freezer? I'm going to probably go in the freezer, too, for a little bit. Oh, that's that's I'll sad. Be, see you later. Well, I, okay, I'll come visit you soon, okay? Okay. And we'll, we'll have a fairy cake together, one of the peppercorn ones that Blatt would always like. Yeah, okay. Um, I, sh I, sh I should go check on Darcy and find out why Moira was yelling at uh, the weird loopy door. <laughs> okay, okay, let it all out oh, there. Oh, God. Here you, okay, I've got you here. I've got just the thing for you. This is a rice fairy cake. Um, this, this is what we would have when we had upset tummies. Uh, and a little bit of uh, ale ginger. Um, and I you, don't so, think I want anything else. Oh no! Time. Don't worry about it. This will be good. This just just put this on your mouth. It kind of it's it's very light. Uh, See there you uh, go. Ooh. There you go. Um, mm. And uh, it'll it'll make you feel better. It'll be all good. It'll be all good. Because you know it's not like you're the strong one that holds the group together. And that's my job because I'm the leader, so I, I can make sure everyone's okay. Everyone's Thank gonna be fine. Nothing's gonna go bad. You're the leader, Egerton. Thank goodness you're gonna make everything better. I am. No pressure at all. Good. I will fix it all. Um, A hush falls over the room, and Moira walks in. Oh, there's Moira. I saw Moira. I, wait, wait, you no, came shh. to the party. Darcy, I, I, no, look, I, I saw Moira. When I when I touched for Thilkip and I'm really sorry drink. everyone to do this during Winter Festival as this is a happy time. It's so happy. Okay, here just sit why don't you sit down here, Darcy? Oh, okay, thanks. But we are at war. Well the shattering has moved against us, as has my sister. <gasps> you should all get some rest tonight. We begin tomorrow. Wait, wait, yeah, uh, question. Uh, are you taking questions? I have a question. Yes. Question over here. Yes, Egerton. Excuse me, more, more question. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Yes, Egerton. Okay. Uh, when you say we begin tomorrow, uh, could you define what you mean by begin? We take this battle to the shattering tomorrow. Um. So we've already kind of tried that. Thank and, you, Egerton. Okay, but I've that got a follow-up question. It's like it's kind of question one A. I don't know if that's really another question. Um, it's it's just that, you know, uh I I I don't exactly I mean I had a toy boat, but I I don't really have any weapons or anything. She and, steps aside oh. and you hear metal ringing out on stone as pair after pair of night in full plate mail march into the room, shaking the walls until 50 of them line the walls, all marching, pivoting, and turning. Uh, hi, hi, guys. I'm Egerton. This is Darcy. This uh, is our army. It's only 50. This is but the first battalion. We begin tomorrow, Egerton. Oh, okay, so question one There will be no oh, more questions. Because I'm just... And she turns and leaves the room. 
This is so great, Egerton. Do you know why this is so great? What, what? Because you're the new leader. I, I you're am. their general. <gasps> you're General Egerton, and this is your army, and that's why it's all gonna be different now. You're gonna fix everything. The shattering's just gonna become the splattering, and it won't matter anymore. Nothing matters anymore, Egerton. Hello, soldiers! <gasps> Oh, I don't feel so good. Hodges. Oh, <laughs> it's the beginning of the middle of the end of time and other bothers. Hey everyone, Sean here. Happy holidays. I have a few brief announcements and some special announcements about when End of Time is back. So hold on to your seats. Here we go. First of all, I want to announce that we're going to be at PodCon in Seattle on January 18th through the 20th. Eli and I will both be there. We're going to be doing a meetup for Alba Salix and End of Time. So if you are coming, be sure to give us a shout out on Twitter, at Alba Salix, or at Other Bothers, or on our Facebook pages. I wanted to start by talking, because it's sort of the end of the year, about why we started this show. We started this show because we wanted more laughter in the world, in a space that was inclusive and welcoming. What we didn't expect when we started this show was to have such a powerful and loving community around and behind this show. To each and every one of you that are interacting with us on Twitter and Facebook or in our Discord, thank you so much. It truly means the world to us to to know that we are reaching other creators across mediums and also people who just love comedy, improvisation, and role play. And we can never thank you all enough. Okay, so let's get to the great news. We recently commissioned Catherine Green to create an epic new piece of art of the three adventurers, Blatt, Egerton, and Darcy. And it is so awesome. I have it right now. And it's now available on shirts in our store. You can find that by going to albasalex.com and just clicking on the shop or store. I forget what it's called. But I have a special announcement. You can also get a special sticker of this same image. And to do that, you need to sign up as a $5 or higher supporter on Patreon by January 1st. Everyone who is at the $5 level by January 1st is going to get one of these stickers. And I'm super excited to get those out the door and get them to you. They are so awesome. I'm holding one right now. And finally, when is End of Time and Other Bothers back? Well, starting on January 13th, we are back every two weeks on our normal schedule. And we can't wait for you to hear these next three episodes. We've already got them in the can. And episode 18 is probably my favorite episode we've ever recorded. So that's it. Uh, A final thank you from myself and from Eli and from the whole table, and we're going to get you back to the episode. Okay, who brought the coffee? I got the pot right here. All right. I don't like coffee. Uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, We'll we'll get some tea. We'll get some tea in a second. Sorry, Mies. You have said that before. Um, okay, so uh, we're here to talk about uh, the next arc because uh, you guys have broken the first arc. Mm-hmm. So who's got some ideas? We play the game separately. Like split the party? Like, yeah, so Blatt's got a plot and then Darcy and Egerton have a plot. Okay, I see in this. Okay, and then eventually they get back together. I don't know how. Okay, okay, I like that. That's a good start. Yeah, I can wait to see how that works. What? What? Eh, Don't like it. Okay, all right. Uh, What else you got? I might feel better once I've had some tea. Oh, what what if we work? It is a little silly to break the party. Come on. Yeah, okay, what what if we bring the tea into it and they have to get some kind of special tea for Moira? Oh, maybe. (gasps) Moira. Yeah. Moira. She's changing things and Ooh. she brings in these knights. Ooh. And we're not really sure what she's up to. There's all That's this good. espionage. Moira, and... you can't even say her name. I don't think we should give her more stuff to do. You know, if I were to rate and review you on iTunes, you wouldn't be getting a very high rating, guys. Come yeah, on, raise okay. the bar. Raise the bar. Right. Eat, right. I can't say raise name. the bar. Okay, okay. we do an episode. It's just the quartermaster. That's oh, it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's just him. And if he's ever in a jam, he just pulls Except out an object. I think it might be a they. Thickle, thickle. They, they okay. just pulls an object out from inside of them. 
and then so that cool. gets them out of I whatever jam they're like in. I do like the quartermaster. Oh. Oh. They're, they're, huh? Huh? they're huh? kind of adorable. Huh? All right, well, let's cue the quartermaster vocal sound effects. <laughs> No, you're right. It's not going to work. Forget uh, it. So close. So well, you close. know what we can always do is just go to patreon.com slash albasalix and, you know, engage with the people on our Discord and try and come up with some ideas or, you know, offer them some cool other perks like early access to episodes and things like that. I mean, or that's, t-shirts. Or t-shirts. Maybe we can do a special contest at some point for Patreon subscribers. <gasps> that's a great idea. That's what actually you- a good idea, Mike. What? I think you win the prize. I win! Yay! Yay! The meeting's over! What do I win? We cut to high above Celine's fortress, but on this evening it is shining blue. It is formed out of ice, and the light shifts across it as the moon strikes it and radiates off in every direction. And we come down into the biggest tower where Celine is laying in a bed as a certain individual gives his report. hi ho Celine. It's time for report number 12FG-X. Oh, I love your report so much, Vlad. Please talk to me about progress and mm, oh, the accomplishments and all the little bylines in your report. So it's, as you can see on this map here, we have 47 different locations for a prospective goddess of the moon temples. Supplanting three different religions or and cults that were in that area. Now, what I find particularly interesting is that this one here. Come, you see, come, keep talking, but sit right here. <laughs> oh, right, that's not strange at all. Um, the northernmost one here, uh, you can see the uh, drawing of it. Uh, I saw a drawing of this. As a child, I seem to recall, so it seems that I've actually altered time, and uh, I remember witnessing this as an old uh, temple from a history book. And, yes, yes, yes. Uh, How many of these temples now have you put in place? Well, uh, 47 are, uh, I, I think, good choices. I'm about to go to the first one now. I... I thought it would be best if I just tried to convince them to turn over to uh, your religion Mm -hmm. instead of whatever silly current religion that they have going now. Blah, blah, blah. God or goddess, blah, (laughs) blah. Yes, and now, yes, we don't need this report. Tell me, Blatt. That's why I was supposed to come in here. Mm -hmm. Tell me, when you go and talk to them, what are you going to say about little Celine? Oh, that's simple. I'm just going to try to convince them that without much difficulty that your religion is the absolute best religion. And if they try to fight back, I'll say, well, I tried to resist, but that turned out so very badly. Did it? Did it, Blatt? Is it... Well, not badly. Perhaps that's a poor choice of words, but it's just that uh, I am now in your employ for uh, the rest of time. Yes. So why fight it? Just come on over to the moody side and forget about your past life and whatever else you may have believed in. So it's festival in so many of my kingdoms today. Is it? I yes. can't tell. We're oh. so high up. <laughs> so, oh, they're what? like ants down there. Oh, yes, Look aren't at them. they? Uh. Come. Come to the window. Yes. Look out across what is our kingdom, is it not, Platt? Our growing kingdom. Well, I know I've been given a file room. I wasn't told that I was getting a kingdom at all. I... Uh, there is a bit of a problem with the heat in the file room. I was meeting to uh, tell you about that. Uh, it's a wee bit chilly, and for some reason, mm. you won't let me wear clothing. So <laughs> I was just wondering, you know, either or, heat, 
clothing, both would be best, but I realize that that might not be a possibility. You are such a strange one. So, Blatt, what should we do on this winter festival to celebrate? What decree would you make? Well, uh, I actually wasn't going to uh, stay for the festival. Uh, like I said, I was going to go and try to convince one of these 47 locations that you should come on over to the goddess of the moon side. And I was going to start with uh, this furthest one on the map all the way over here. So mm -hmm. ah, I'm going to have to go to that right now if I'm going to make it in uh, time. So yes. if you'll excuse me, I've got to pack some bags uh, with what I don't know since I'm not allowed clothing. But uh, yep, gonna have to head on out and make sure that I get there as quickly as possible. And oh, the door seems to be locked. I don't know how that happened. Perhaps you could just uh, jingle jangle this lock and I'll be on my way. I asked you for a decree, Blatt. You could decree anything. Anything in these lands of mine, you could decree on this festival day. An open door! Very well. All doors shall be open to you on festival day. Well, that hopefully is not a euphemism. I'm just going to try this lock one more time, and that still seems to be stuck. I don't know what the problem is. I could take what I want. I could make it happen, but no, no, I'm going to break you. It may take years, it might take decades, but you will crawl to me, Vlad. You will crawl to me one day. Oh, look, the door is unstuck. Oh, good. Well, once again, it's been a very awkward Meeting, so I'll just continue traveling the land and trying to convince everyone that you're the ultimate leader of everything. And In still. this report, Blatt, I don't want 47 possibles. I don't want this far northern kingdom. You don't want the far northern kingdom? But I told you, I saw this in a... I want Oracle Idris. Show me a plan that gives me Oracle Idris, Blatt. The one you gave away. Oh, right. The reason why I'm here. Um, that might be a... That might be what, What? A definite possibility for the next report. Absolutely. Perfect. I'll get these pesky first 47 out of the way, and then we'll circle on back to the one thing that I did as a free demon. Okay. Good meeting. So uh, next time, if you could um, have something else on oh. other than the see-through gown, that would be appreciated. And, and I got uh, you something, Blatt. Is it clothing? No. Uh -oh. Well, not really. <laughs> Here, open it when you're alone. All right. It's not a very large package, but, uh, well, like I said... Pitter patter, let's get at her. I got a happy festival. Okay, Blatt. happy festival to you too, Selena. Just uh, you want the door open or closed? I'll just close it. That's that's fine. Uh, all right, ta ta for now. As Blatt steps out into the hall and the door closes behind and everything dematerializes and you're suddenly standing in your filing room, which. You're getting used to now this constant transformation of movement. And you see Vardia, the book, who is assisting you, scurrying around, clasping papers between its little tiny hands that stick out of the leaves of the book. And it's attempting to file badly. This is an A. Don't go a B. Vardia, I. Don't do that! Sorry, Blatt, I, uh, I, I've got, uh, I've, I think I filed all of uh, uh, 2,173 uh, and well, the year of the uh, goddess's birth. Uh, I think I got it done. All right, let's just uh, do a double check here. Let's okay, see. Okay, okay. So, all right, so yeah, A, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, B, uh, good. And 
are. <laughs> How? You're a book. How is this hard? There's letters inside of you. Yeah. Why is this so confusing? Well, R comes after B. There's a bunch of stuff in between. I know, but I, I had an R and I, I needed to file it. I didn't have the other stuff yet. See, maybe I should maybe I should go back to collating. I'm really good at collating. All right, all right. Go go back to collating. Oh, I'm... yes, thank you. Oh, thank you, but Oh, just to collate. <laughs> Do you need your anything? Oh, can I collate your shoes? How about... Well, uh... Oh, oh, you got a package. Should I collate that? I... God in heaven, yes. Collate this and be sure to lose it. I don't even want to open it to know what's inside it. It's probably something that's... Studded. Right, or... File it. I'll file it now. Okay. All right, good. Very good. Uh, make sure not to find it How again. Did, the report. How did the report go? What? Well, I don't think she's actually that interested in me spreading the word of the goddess of the moon, but she'd like me to spread something else. We're not going to get into that because I don't want that to happen. If we just concentrate on filing and collating and asking people to supplant all of their beliefs will be able to hopefully delay the last thing as long as possible. Now, I'm going to remove these bed sheets from my bed, and then if I just cut a couple of slits here and here, oh, yeah. this could possibly pass as clothing. Oh, it's quite striking, quite striking. <laughs> I'll, I'll, maybe I could just say that this is what uh, the mood people wear which is more than what their goddess wears. Yeah, why does everything have to be see-through on her? You, s you met with Celine? Yes, I Herself? Met, yeah, up close and in person and in the flesh and all of that. Uh, have you never met Celine? <laughs> oh, oh, God, God, God. No, he right. slams closed oh. and hits the floor. I wish I had your relationship with her. Blatt picks him up, files him on a shelf. <laughs> no, thank you. Good night, Al. Good night, Blatt. See you when I get back. Blatt opens the window in his filing room tower, looks out on the cold winter festival night, spreads his wings, and flies off to the northernmost part of the map to reach the first temple to do its job. We cut to another individual looking out a window across the winter grounds, and it is a flightless ferry. He has the window cracked half open, and behind him, half in her bed and half on the floor, Darcy is snoring. And he's looking out over the festivities and the people in the town that are partying. Oh, Blatt. It's so quiet without you. I'm so used to sitting and listening to you talk and explain things and file things and explain filing and alphabetizing and itemizing and prioritizing and all the other zings. Then explaining what each one of them means and getting frustrated with poor Snagel when he tries to help. It's going to be weird here without you, Blatt. I'm trying to keep the team together. Moira's having a hard time. She seems to have brought on a whole bunch of helpers. I don't know. She forgot that I'm here. But I'll try and be their leader too and get them out into the field. Boom, calisthenics and stretching out before we go to war with the shattering. Darcy's just all over the place. I guess her overwhelming love for me has gotten too intense without you here to ground her. Snagel got into the fairy wine. I won't touch the stuff. It really messes with your head, and I would never want to do anything like that. But tomorrow we go to war, I've been told, and I've never been in a fight. Except for that time with the zombies, and that other time with the slod, and the whole thing in the void with the... And we pull away from the window up into the sky as we leave Egerton as he continues to build up his resolve into the night air. And we see a shadow flit through the air as a large man-sized creature with wings circles the school twice before flying off to the north.
I came back for this. This <sighs> I thought you were helping. I thought you and me were on the same page. <sighs> Ananka. At least put down the sword. Hmm. At least for a moment. I'm not armed. And always remember, I can still hurt you, weapon or not. I know. Ananka, I... I still don't know if you're in on this. You don't know if I'm in on this? Uh, What the hell does that mean? Moira is building another bomb. What? No. Yes, I've seen it. In Steadfast, when I went to get Darcy, she's rebuilding the Hall of Wonders. I I should back up. I helped to build the first bomb. I didn't know it's what I was doing. It's why I crossed over and told the Shattering. The Nexus was building a bomb. The... You've seen it. The event. That wasn't the shattering, Ananka. That was the Nexus. I I don't even... Maybe you should sit down. Maybe maybe I should sit down. Mm. Uh, What are we supposed to do now? I can't even trust my sister. Is this what you were telling me? That's what I was hoping to hear. I I know that's awful, but... And I'm supposed to trust you now. I didn't tell you, so I can understand if you don't trust me. After... After the event, I told Moira what I'd done. And I told her everything I knew about the bomb that was being built, the genocide the Nexus was planning to eliminate the shattering forever. And I I told her that this was against my vow as a hunter for balance. And she swore me to silence. She thanked me. But Ananka, she's using the three that you had me get to build the bomb again. And I've been helping her this entire time train these people for... It gets worse. How can how can I be so blind? I don't know. I I was caught just as off guard as you were. I trusted her. I I trusted you and both your sisters. And my sight was was wrong. What if she had something to do with that? I don't know. I think she sent you on this errand at this time on purpose. She wanted you away for whatever she's planning right now. And she came for me. I think she expected me to die. Needed me to die. I don't think she expected you to come and rescue me on that one-way mission. Well, I suppose the one thing that she did not know is that... I love you, Kushka. And I never will stop loving you. I've never stopped loving you, Ananka. Mm. Don't put your sword away. I I think we're going to need it. Let's fight together. Thank you. We can't go back, though, right now. She, she is raising new warriors. The dead. The knights walk again. I barely escaped. You can't just walk back in there. We we need allies. The three. Oh, I hope your trust in them is not misplaced, Ananka. You know, I know I haven't been spot on with a lot of <laughs> the visions. But if there's one thing I can always sense, it's, it's a good heart. And I know their intentions are pure. And I have faith. Who else can we trust? There's no one but you and me and... And your other sister. Of course. 
Maybe it's time we bridge that separation. No better time than now. The End of Time and Other Bothers, an improvised fantasy role-playing game set in the world of Alba Salix. Your game master is Sean Howard, with Marisa King as Darcy, Carter Siddle as Blatt, Michael Howie as Egerton, and special guest Maggie Makar as Ananka. Additional material and sound design by Eli McElvey. Story consultant, Laura Packer. Game consultant, Stephen Smith. If you enjoy the show, check out our Patreon. Supporters get early access to episodes, weekly bonus content, and access to our wonderful community on Discord. Look for the Patreon link at otherbothers.com. Okay, so we'll call it the Winter Special. The Not winter the Winter. Special. The Winter. <laughs> the Winter. <laughs> the Winter Festival? Sure. Ah, the Winder. I think Celine has a Winter Festival. The Day of Winding Things. <laughs> <laughs> and then we let it go. Did you just invent the Farlorian dreidel? Winder, 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 I made it out of twine. Winder, 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 the winder I will wind. Oh, it's happy! <laughs>